Hi guys and welcome back, I'm Jembu and now the last 7 days are over and done with and I'm back ready to make some content, it seems like forever since I've made a video but it's only been about 7 days so hey with that let's jump right in Shark Mob were invited to be on last week's Twitch Gaming Weekly show, which last week was hosted by Technique and Strawberry 17 Plays. They got to show off the game and also answer questions from the community, and there was some quite interesting information and tidbits that came out of it. From Shark Mob, we had Martin Holtberg, David Serland, and Craig Hubbard, uh, who were there to answer the questions, and they got some of the, the usual questions around game optimizations, the anti-cheat system, and also any new clans and information that were coming out in the future. Shark Mob has said that they are constantly working on updating the anti-cheat and also trying their best to optimize the game. But with PC games, there are multiple different configurations a computer can be in. So if you do have any issues, then make sure that you pop over to the Shark Mob website and hit up the, that support who will be able to, to help you in any ways that they can. This week there's been a number of updates to the anti-cheat system as well as uh, some of the hot fixes that have been implemented. Uh, hopefully the fixes to the anti-cheat system will combat the, the cheaters that we've got in game at the moment and the other fixes were against a crossbow exploit and also an issue where people who had over 300 Steam friends weren't able to see the online statuses reflected properly, but now that's fixed. There was also the main fix for the anti-cheat that came out that stopped it running after the game had closed and also leaving files on the system once the game had been uninstalled. Now on to some of the main information that I took away from the live stream and there was a couple of nice bits uh, and that were interesting to see. When asked about other game modes such as duos, David did turn around and say that there was a possibility of it. The fact that the devs test the game internally on the duos queue means that it's already baked into the game and may be ready to be released in the future. Now, if this is a mode already baked into the game, why isn't it live, you might ask. And I think that's more because of the amount of people that are playing the game at the moment. The game's already split into two queues of solo and trio, and some regions may have issues filling a third queue this early on in the early access. But this also might mean that Shark Mob are just looking into perfecting the initial release and making sure the game is balanced between the archetypes and the weapons, and also constantly improving on the optimization. This does lead us into the fact that they do have a 12 month roadmap internally. We don't know, we haven't seen it yet, unfortunately, uh, but they have stated that they have got one that's going to at least 12 months. So we know that they are looking that far into the future, although it may change here and there because they have said that the, the community feedback does influence the stuff that happens on it. So you never know if the community does want something pretty quick then they may turn around and jump that up the queue just a little bit i'm not gonna lie i do like the idea of having a duos queue or a 3v3v3 3 3 3 queue but i'd rather have the original game modes perfected first then have three that aren't really working together as much so that just to keep the gameplay smooth and all now this next bit might be a sli slip up from the host, but are Shark Mob already working on another map so soon? There's been a lot of feedback along with the different game modes about the possibility of having another map, but when Technique asked that he knew that there was another map being developed, how much creative control they would have over the map with uh, World of Darkness, it got me thinking, are they already developing the other map or how far they would be into development of another map. Craig Hubbard nailed it on the head with a statement about how challenging it is to make a video game. There are a lot of other games in the Battle Royale genre, which when they were released were just as bare bones as Blood Hunt is now, but have since evolved. 
so people do have a tendency to want the other things from the other games but with the second act approaching do you think that we'll see an update to the current map or have the map expanded or shrunk a little bit leave your thoughts in the comments below uh, i'd like to know what you think about having another map so soon into early access and the final two bits of information are around stats and a practice area uh, they've acknowledged the fact that they've had a lot of requests to have a practice area where uh, a player is able to practice their shooting and their movements in the game as sometimes it is hard to to get those jumps and slides just right uh, and they have acknowledged that they are looking into this so that's nice to know and second of all that they are keeping track of your current stats as it stands at the moment so it looks like when they go live with the stats system be it leaderboard a rank queue or whatever that is going to have historical data in there instead of just going from a clean slate so it's going to be nice to see how those streamers that are boasting about multiple hundred wins uh, and over 5,000 people that they've killed and such like that how close they are to them but me i am absolutely dreading seeing my stats because yeah battle rails aren't my forte i have some good games and i have some absolutely horrid games more horrid than good um but speaking of my games that's it for this video i think uh we are going to be streaming over the weekend so if you're interested head over to twitch throw us a follow uh, and come hang out with us at the weekend we're just going to be chilling playing some games uh please consider hitting that like and subscribe button and following us on twitter for daily tweets store updates and any information in regards to the game thank you very much guys and i'll see you in prague